You've been leading me down the wrong path, haven't you? Just tell me the truth. I'm sick and tired of you lying to me all the time. Baby, I'll forgive you. Just, just be true to me from here on out. Look at you, have been so unfaithful. <laughs> You've been cheating on me with another North, haven't you? Trust is the foundation, man. It's the bedrock of our relationship, and and you've been. You've been lying to me, you dirty, rotten son of a... All compasses point to Magnetic North, but just how accurate is a lens attic or base plate compass. Coming up. Hey, welcome to the channel, friends, man. As always, man, I'm, I'm stoked to see you. So, I mean, we know that, you know, every compass points to magnetic north, right? There's a couple types of north out there. You have true north, magnetic north, and grid north. And, and that difference can be all the difference in the world, as I know that you know. But just how accurate is a magnetic compass does it really point to the magnetic north pole is there any deviation in it is there any way to test our compass and the answer of course is yes we can test our compass super easy you probably already have the tools that you need to test your compass i'm going to tell you why you need to test them and then we're going to take it outside and then we're going to test it so you need to test your compass because I have, I have seen, over the years, I have seen compasses be upwards of eight degrees off. Pointing eight degrees off, man, that's ludicrous. That, that's insanity. It's setting you up for failure. So you, want, you need to make sure you put this tool in your kit bag, test your compass, and then make sure that you have confidence that it's actually telling you the truth. We're gonna take this outside, and then we'll come back in and we'll talk a little bit more. Hey team, gonna take a short pause and remind you to check down in the description below for a link to any of the gear seen in the video, as well as over a dozen lists on my Amazon Influencer page to help you organize and harden your kit. And if you're looking for a deeper connection, including one-on-one -on -one instruction, you'll also find a link to my Patreon page featuring six levels of membership so you can select the right perk, value, and support that you're looking for. Back to the content. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm out here in the backyard and I'm on my chopping stump and I'm gonna take my phone and I can use any compass uh, application that I have on my phone. This particular one happens to be uh, Mill GPS. I'll back it up here right, r real quick so you can see what that what that looks like. Mill GPS. This was uh, not a free version. It was a paid version. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ensure that we're looking at 360 degrees or zero degrees on my heading. I'm going to hold that still. And I'm gonna draw a straight line. Now that line is pointing north and south, right? Now if the stump moves, obviously uh, that's not gonna be any good. And what I'm gonna do is come back in here and make sure that's nice and thick. Right, I'm going to take my compass, start off with the lens attic compass, I'm going to put it right up against that line as straight as I can, and then we'll look over, and then we'll come over and make sure that she's all nice and lined up, pointing to north. Pretty accurate, right? Right now we'll take a look at base plate compass. Again, this one is a Silva. Just going to make sure she's nice and steady on that line. You can see that we're all good to go. Now I've seen compasses be off by as much as, you know, five, six degrees, which if, if yours is off for any reason, then you just want to make sure you take that into account when it comes to your declination. And what I've done in the past and has been uh, successful in ensuring that our compasses are pointing north and that they're not lying to us, they're not cheating to, on us, right, is having uh, upwards of three posts, four by four posts, that's all you need, plant them into the ground, and then have one marked off at zero, 
one marked off at maybe you know 15 degrees and one marked off maybe you know at 270 degrees and then you go to each one and you just make sure uh, that your compass is lining up as that post reads and you can do that every time before you step off. So if you're trying to maybe you know, set up a, a land nav course and you're gonna have a lot of students, maybe it's a scouting program or, or just a local uh, event, that's something that you can do to help make sure that everybody's compass is pointing right because I have seen compasses be upwards of five, six degrees off. And if you're uh, not taking that into account, and if that does happen, you just add or subtract as needed for your declination and then you'll be good to go for your area. So I hope that helps out, man. Let's take it back to the house. Right, so there you go, man. Um, as you can see, my two compasses are working pretty well, right? And, and, that, and that's awesome. That's good to see. And I think it's a, 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 because of a couple things. The American manufacturers of compasses and some of the larger uh, European well-known brands of compasses that are out there. So, I mean, if you're going for a Kamanga, a Silva, Silva a Brunton, um, a Suntu, you know, you're probably going to find a decent compass that you're buying. But there are countless compasses that are out there that may cost like $2. And I, I just don't know that I would trust my life with them. <laughs> uh, so you, you got to make sure that you're testing these things. Now, if a compass was, say, only two or three degrees off, I'm not that big. I'm not that concerned about it. Right, it's not that big of a deal. Right, but if I'm like five degrees off, let's say I look down at my compass after doing my test, and my declination should be 15 and a half degrees, and I tested, and it actually tells me that my declination is, my difference is 20 degrees, so I'm five degrees off, then what I need to do is I need to make sure that I basically run a new declination diagram for where I'm at. So every time I'm com converting back and forth, I'm using 20 degrees instead of 15, right? Because that five degrees difference over the course of a thousand meters is probably going to put you around, I don't know, maybe 100, 125 meters off or something like that. I mean, it's, it's just absolutely incredible. And the further you go, the more compounded it gets. Now you add these things up when it comes to plotting wrong, your pace count being wrong, you know, your compass being wrong. Now there's, you may not even find a six digit grid coordinate location, man. I mean, that's how crazy this can get. You need to take out all of the variables that you can when you're getting ready to go out and do some wilderness navigation or land navigation. You wanna go out and do some, some bushwhacking, man, that's, that's what I love to do, right? I love doing this but you can't have variables out there that aren't in your control. You need to dial things back in to your favor so that you can have confidence in your instruments, you can have confidence in your skills, and you can have, most importantly, the confidence in your ability to make it back safely to where you belong. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you did, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date on some future content. You want to stay uh, stoked, you can go up here and, and follow me on some Instagram or Facebook and we can keep this conversation rolling. Leave some comments down below and let me know two things. Let me know what your, if your, let me, hello, learn how to talk. Let me know if your compass reads true and then let me know anything else that you want. Hey, and until then, you stay out there, man, and you stay stoked.